House of the Dragon, Episode 2, officially titled Daddy Couldn't Resist Daughter's Best Friend, centers around King Viserys finding a new wife. So, to catch you up, it's been six months since Viserys murdered his wife. That's right, six months from the last episode. And basically what has happened in that time is Daemon is held up in Dragonstone to the liking of absolutely nobody, and the free city people have grown and are getting up to some shit with crabs and the stepstones. I don't know. But what's important is, is they fucked with Lord Corlys, which based on this episode, not something you want to do. So Lord Corlys rudely interrupts a small council meeting about some dead Kingsguard member and is like, yo, what the fuck are we going to do about these motherfuckers who wrecked one of my ships? And the crown is like, oh, well, we'll pay you for your losses. (laughs) And Corlys is like, I don't want money. I want blood. And Viserys is like a king of the peace, I guess. So his solution is not to make a decision about this at all. But I tell you what, King Viserys has made a decision, David. And you know what it is? It's that he's into redheads who happen to be his daughter's best friend. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Allison has homeboy under her spell. Even got him dropping his D&D miniatures and everything. But to be fair, he's not the only one that's kind of under her spell. Rainier as well has opened up to her about her father. And Allison, being the good stepmom that she is, tells both of them they should talk to each other. Now, I hope you didn't forget about Lord Corlys' wrecked ship because he sure as hell has it. Corlys, his wife Rhaenys, and Viserys all have a little chat. And about what, you might ask? Well, you know, just about how the realm sees the Targaryens as vulnerable right now, and how nobody wants an open war, and there's ways to go about that, and that to fix all this, the king should marry their 12-year-old daughter. (coughs) Now don't worry, don't worry. If he did marry her, he wouldn't have to bed her until she was 14. But all big dog Viserys is thinking about is how Alicent is already 15. So, now the king is caught between a rock and a hard place. Piss off Corleos or marry a 12-year-old? Pretty tough decisions. But, before we resolve this whole situation, Damon plays reverse Easter Bunny and steals an egg from the dragon pit. And not just any egg, the egg that Rhaenyra had picked out for her baby brother. This gets Viserys all riled up and ladies and gentlemen, we got a brother-on-brother fight on our hands. Until Otto says, Don't go, King. I'll take care of Damon while you fall in love with my daughter. Now, we're on Dragonstone, and we get a good old Wild West standoff between Otto Hightower and Damon Targaryen. Except, Otto Hightower pulled a North Korea and lacked a dragon nuke? Like, why would you show up to a dragon fight without a dragon? But anyways, so it looks like Damon is going to win the standoff when out of the sea of fog, Princess motherfucking Rhaenyra swoops up and prevents bloodshed. She lands and she goes, Yo, uncle, you want the throne? Here I am. Kill me and it's yours. And being the big baby that Damon is, he doesn't kill her and he gives her her egg and he goes and cries in the safety of Dragonstone. Now, while all this is going down, King Viserys has had the time to contemplate his predicament. As Hamlet said, to pedo or to not pedo. And he seeks an unencumbered opinion from Lord Strong, I believe his name is. And it looks like all signs are pointing to him being a pedo. But then, boom, Rhaenyra arrives back from Dragonstone, and the king is like, You deliberately disobeyed me. And she's like, Well, I did what your hand couldn't. And Viserys is like, You know what, facts. And they finally have a really good talk about the death of the queen, and moving on, and how the king is going to have to take a new queen to better the realm. And honestly, like all jokes aside, this was actually a really good scene that was like kind of heartwarming. And there was like only one possible way you could fuck this up, right? And you might ask, Well, what way is that, Jacob? Well, well, how about announcing you're going to marry your daughter's best friend, which causes your strongest ally to jump ship and completely ruin the relationship with, oh, I don't know, family member who still loves you? It's like he found the only solution that might be worse than marrying a 12-year-old. Now, it looks like Damon and Corlys are going to team up and become a powerhouse. But anyways, that was episode 2 of House of the Dragon.